Because when he first came in, there was zero movement. I mean, he was just completely lethargic. But you see here how he's kind of flipping around and flapping around, that's exactly what we want to see. And then eventually, he'll be back out into the ocean. If all goes well, it'll be a wild log ahead in no time. So today's an exciting day. It's been a few months now since Captain Pete has been in care with us, but he's finally gotten the clear bill of health and he's ready to go. He's put on about 30 kilos of weight, which is fantastic because when he first came in, he was severely underweight. He was severely dehydrated as well. He'd actually been suffering from a bit of a gut impaction when he first came in, so we were really worried that that was gonna be a life or death sentence for him, but thankfully with some pain relief and some fluid therapy, he managed to pull through. So Captain Pete is going to be released back home, not far from where he was originally rescued by our rescue unit. So before we get Captain Pete ready to go on the boat, we actually need to get him out of our large swimming pool. So at 124 kilos, you can imagine that's quite a difficult task. We have a lot of equipment to help us um, deal with turtles this big. So essentially we'll need to lift him out of the big pool with a little beaver net and we connect that to our awesome hoist system. And this hoist system will be able to take him straight up and pop him onto the uh, scissor lift trolley that we have. So once he's on the scissor lift trolley, we'll actually have a harness underneath of him. And that harness just helps keep the flippers in place so he can't escape too easily. It just means that we're able to move him around without risk of him hurting himself or us being hurt as well. Captain Pete is the biggest loggerhead we have ever treated at our Australia Zoo Wildlife Hospital. You may remember earlier, Captain Pete came to us in a really bad way. We actually weren't confident that he was going to survive. However, being the big, strong, modern-day dinosaur turtle that he is, he has pulled through, he has gotten a clear bill of health, and is ready for release today. We are so happy he's made a full recovery and we can't wait for him to get a second chance at life in the wild as a fully healthy turtle. Let's get him back in the water. So as we pull up to Morton Island, we couldn't believe our eyes. We actually saw another loggerhead turtle in the same area. This guy was massive and he looked roughly the same size as Captain Pete. So when we saw that, we knew that this was the perfect area to let him go. Knowing that there was a similar sized turtle in that area meant that there was obviously food and this was a good home range to set him free. So it was a beautiful day. The water was nice and clear and the island backdrop was just amazing. So it couldn't have gone any better for Captain Pete. All right. Here you go, Captain Pete. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, straight to the food. Woo. Oh man, Captain Pete is back home. This is just, this is the best part of the job is letting an animal go getting a second chance at life. There's no better feeling in the world knowing that you helped make a difference. The team at the Australia Zoo Wildlife Hospital helped bring Captain Pete back to health. And now he has to live his life being a totally healthy and happy turtle. This is awesome.